Once Roy died, that uh, that mu- museum in Victorville was disbanded. Mm. Yes. <laughs> well, and okay. Well, I had I had one other question, kind of for you both. General question about Martin guitars. It's something that I have, you know, not <coughs> sure what my opinion is on it because I haven't seen enough of them. But it seems like on the Rosewood models, the the you know the uh, the higher end Rosewood models, the style 42s and 45s. Um, it seemed to me like when I when I see one, I just kind of study it. It seemed like the wood on the top and on the sides was kind of a a more almost a more iridescent quality. Like the top was the spruce on the top was very it seemed to be very tightly grained and just very more a, more, a little more clear looking. And the rosewood was sort of a little more decorative. Is is this is this the case? Did they set, did they save really great looking lumber for those higher end guitars? Or was they've it? they've never saved wood for any period of time, but they did always grade it depending on the style. The grading, yeah. <coughs> right. style. So the, the higher the higher models would get a more attractive yeah, that's type, what I was, of, type of spruce and, and rosewood. And part of the difference in the in the look is on the old guitars they, they used uh, I mean more finish, wouldn't you agree, Frank? Oh yeah. They yeah, definitely I, put I mean, lacquer was lacquer itself was expensive. Mm. It wasn't just the time spent putting. Oh, okay. On. I didn't. I did not so, know that. That's yeah. So they would. So an inexpensive guitar would get, you know, a relatively thin finish, mm-hmm. and, and a, a more expensive guitar would get a more lustrous, fully polished, glossy, thick finish. Which today we look at those and we kind of think some of those less expensive guitars, like the Style Eighteens, the finish actually looks better because it's thinner. Yeah, but uh, D45 would have been given probably twice as much lack yeah. as D18 in right. the 1930s. Right, but, but bear in mind, it's still not not a huge volume of lacquer. It's, it's not equivalent. by today's It's standards. equivalent no. to, to mm-hmm. today's regular lacquer finishes. So right. we're talking about uh, a film thickness that's on the on the order of six mils, which is about ideal mm-hmm. for lacquer to have right. a great transparency and lustrous polishing ability and depth of coloring. But uh, but thin enough so that it moves with the wood and doesn't, doesn't yeah. check the way some right. companies yeah. finishes do. That's that's interesting. I didn't know that the lacquer was applied differently on the higher end guitars. I just thought they had a little bit more of a sheen to them somehow. Just the wood itself, and and I was wondering. Well, for certain, certainly the wood would have a would have a higher grade look too. Yeah. For yeah. for yeah. all of those, and in fact, I know that there's been some discussion even recently about. Some of these really high-end D18 copies, the D18 authentics, mm-hmm. you know, getting wood that looks a, a little less cosmetically great than people might like, and Martin's response being something, "Well, it's an 18, you know." Yeah. Right. Uh, rather than thinking of the wood as being appropriate for a guitar in that price range, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, they've right. always graded it based on the style number, not by how expensive yeah. it was. So. And, and does the wood, uh, if it's, say, that's the, the more decorative, really attractive rosewood in, in spruce, does that does that really have any effect on the sound, or is it strictly kind of a skin-deep kind of a thing? Is it is it actually, would it affect the tone in some positive way, or just make it sound different, or is that just really subjective to think, talk about? Like, would an I, OM... I don't, I, don't, I don't think we would... We would say that, that rosewood with a certain appearance or grain structure would, would necessarily sound, certainly we wouldn't say it necessarily sounded better, I suppose if it's the the highest grade, which we think of as being the straight, you know, vertical stuff, mm-hmm. is pretty, can be pretty boring to look at, it just, mm-hmm. looks, just looks like dark mahogany, but... Um, I don't know. We're kind of reluctant to ascribe tone to appearance. Yeah, we I connect tone to appearance. One one area that you know there might be some validity to would be the color. If you if you look yeah. at if you look at the rosewoods, if it's nearly black, it's got more resin. It's denser, heavier, maybe more bass response as a result for the mm-hmm. reflecting the back of the guitar. Maybe, yeah. you know, yeah. the top. Uh, a D18 grade with wider spacing in the grain might be a little more flexible in one di- in one direction, and that might have a slight mm-hmm. difference in, in tone. But I think it's strictly a cosmetic issue. Yeah. yeah so, a, so an, a 1930 OM45 wouldn't necessarily sound. I guess it's all a matter of opinion. Better or than a 1930 OM28, probably. I would be. I I would hesitate to say that it would sound better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Probably a silly question. No, no, I just wondered. wondered. <laughs>